what's up everybody wish you all a very very happy new year and today i am extremely delighted to bring my friend ankit back to my channel from germany he's studying in the university of magdeburg and today we shall discuss on the topic pollution internal and external right exactly yes and we will also discuss from the gita not from any other book all right what are the causes of pollution and how to work on it what are the solutions yes we will see from the gita some verses which <laughs> say the cause of pollution and what are the solutions okay so he is as usual very nervous to come into the camera so please excuse some mistakes which he might do which he will obviously do i know by seeing his face <laughs> <laughs> of which i have no doubt all right so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a personal consultation then approach me through my website and if you like this video share it with others and if you like this so much then please click the thumbs up at the end all right and watch my other videos and if you have any questions queries or comments or you want me to make any other video on any other topic then please let me know in the comments all right so now i will hand over the mic to ankit and for your information he had also done two more videos right with me yeah. when i was in magdeburg so uh, one video was in the playlist of ramayan the name of the video was this is what god sees and the other video we had made in the playlist called practical astrology where he had explained according to your horoscope where are the planets placed and accordingly how you should select subjects in electrical engineering right yes exactly not electronics electrical <laughs> <laughs> i always keep mixing the two all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time he's there you just need to see yes all right so now i will hand over the mic to him and let's see how far he goes all right so ankit we are happy that you are here yes so thank you very much yes so now he will start all right so i'll be looking to him and he will be looking to me or the camera or maybe to himself all right start okay thank you very much for first of all for having me on your channel and uh, so today i am going to discuss with you something related to pollution which is nowadays one of the hottest topics and uh, because of which the global warming is actually the cause and my even my master thesis is also related somewhat to this topic and uh, how to solve this problem you guys must be knowing about the renewable energy sources and first of all why have we reached this state called pollution earlier before the industrial revolution there was nothing as such or the problem was not so severe as we know so i was once looking in the wikipedia what is the actual meaning of pollution so the wikipedia says pollution is the introduction of contaminants into the natural environment that causes adverse change so you can see in this definition itself that something which causes adverse change to the natural environment which definitely becomes unnatural or it is not according to what the nature is so how the pollution is caused of course the mundane reason is of course the reason that it is caused by the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and what not all the chemical pollutants from the industries cars buses flights anything even the water pollution and we have reached to a situation now that we have to pay for water which is the most basic requirement to live a human life for anyone actually not just the human life for everyone and even for even nowadays in cities like delhi where the air pollution has become so much that people are now uh, investing in air purifiers in their homes which is actually in a way that they are uh, investing money in this uh, uh, device it means what it 
means that you, you are paying for air also so the greed has become so much that even we uh, we are left with uh to pay for uh, the natural resources which which are of uh, automatically available for us for free free of cost it is provided by god to god to us without any cost so what is causing this what do you think must be causing this uh, why uh, we have reached this situation actually i found this thing uh, in the bhagavad gita that because of greed uh, we ch- we reach this kind of situation we are in this situation because we are not satisfied with what we have i mean what is uh, first of all why the human race has reached to the situation of greed why first of all the greed rises i mean uh, inside every one of us uh why has why we have reached a situation where we have the greed for everything i mean this is uh why should be a greed in every one of us so the thing is that you are not satisfied with something therefore you have a greed if you don't uh, if you are satisfied you will not uh, be having uh, you will not be facing this situation that is very obvious because uh, when you are not satisfied with something you want more or suppose you are uh, some people have cravings for food it means what they are not satisfied with <laughs> they are not satisfied with uh, their belly they are they are not satisfied with their <laughs> cravings so they are always in greed they want sweets that is one of the most favorite things among <laughs> uh foodies <laughs> and uh, someone must be uh, relating this to <laughs> so nowadays we see that uh, because of the greed people are always uh, extracting the resources the natural resources which are meant uh, uh which are not meant for us actually which is if there is no greed i mean if you see the world it is said that uh, the ma- mother nature provides provides us it is uh, the mother nature is enough for our need but not uh, not for our greed so it means what i mean now the people are saying that uh, the population is too much because of too uh, too much population there is pollution and all what not all the all the things but actually uh, if we are satisfied with whatever we have if we identify our needs then we won't reach this situation where uh, we have to face such uh, conditions we uh, where we have to face such pollutions and crimes and what not and i want to quote this from bhagavad gita in the 14th chapter of text 17 krishna says that from the mode of goodness real knowledge develops and from the mode of passion greed develops and from the mode of ignorance uh develops foolishness madness and illusion so you see how this is relating us to our situation which we are facing so i think if we satisfy this need i mean uh when we are satisfied from ourselves then we won't be having this greed inside us which is causing this problem inside uh in in the world so what do you think that will satisfy our desires or our needs i think my friend will be uh, <laughs> explaining this better to all of you because i am not able to uh, uh relate this exactly to bhagavad gita because i am currently in the process of reading he has read it already once so maybe you can <laughs> add this to 
yeah so thank you for speaking from the Gita on greed so basically what's the problem Gandhi Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi he said that there's enough for this world for everyone's need there's enough in this world for everyone's need but not for one person's greed that means in the scriptures we have the example of <coughs> Hiranyaksh <laughs> yes Hiranyaksh wanted to steal all the gold from this earthly realm and then he did it and then the cosmos was dismantled yes and because of that the bhuloka sinked below and then this bhuloka which is one part of the bhuloka which is this earth which we know today went below the water and then what happened lord vishnu had to take the avatar of varaha and he had to revive that with his tusk which is the uh, boar yes one of the ten avatars that means whenever greed exceeds beyond limitations for even one person that will create trouble for everybody nowadays in india there is this talk of corruption most of the political leaders they are corrupt yes in india and in so many other places whichever party they belong to may not be everybody but if there would be no corruption then the situation of the world will not be so bad right that means the problem is not the money people keep saying that oh there's no money there's no money no that's not the problem the problem is that where the money is getting utilized that is not documented properly yes this is on the level of the surface but if we go below just making laws on anti-corruption or making this vigilance commit committee right vigilance commission mm -hmm. which is there in india or in other countries that will not be of much use externally at least i mean externally maybe it can try to control the situation but the root cause of the problem is inside inside which means in our heart there is pollution that is why this pollution is manifesting in greed and then corruption and then externally because the world is a mirror of your own consciousness if there is greed inside you if there is pollution inside you you will also see that outside manifesting yes so that means we have to know what is the root cause of greed what and then and then we will understand why pollution is being caused now the gita explains that greed is not in the mode of goodness it is in the mode of passion and ignorance yes that means greed is basically what it is a desire to obtain something which you don't need <laughs> yes greed basically means a desire to obtain something which even if you don't have you are not going to die or you are not going to be miserable in life yes but you still want that see there's the problem so that means to the degree we are materialistic to that degree we will be having this problem of greed and to the degree we are spiritual spiritual means to be connected with the spirit that is the meaning of the word spiritual all right so spiritual means you are in connection with god the divine the original spirit as we say in sanskrit paramatma right so when the atma the soul the living entity is in tune with paramatma then we see that the desires of the living entity can be channelized properly and then the living entity goes around his or her needs rather than his or her wants because a man can very happily survive in a small house with one wife with two kids yes but no we have desires we want to stay in a palace we will do this we will do that now i am not saying that is bad that is also good if you are spiritually connected because in scriptures we have the example of yudhishthir maharaj who was the king of the entire universe right but he was a raja rishi means he was a raja a king and a rishi simultaneously which means he was a priest he was a greatly elevated spiritual personality in the role of a king yes that is the meaning of the word raja rishi <laughs> so we also have to become like yudhishthir maharaj we may not become like him that's not possible but we have to follow in his footsteps which means that we have to reduce the greed inside us and the question is how to do that lord krishna says in the gita brahma bhuta prasannatma 
न सोचती न कांक्षती समा सर्वेशु भूतेशु मद्भक्तिम लभते परा लॉर्ड कृष्ण सेज दैट ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्नात्मा अ ग्रेट सोल हु इज इन ब्रह्म भूत मीन्स इन स्पिरिट इन स्पिरिट मीन्स दैट ही इज इन ट्यून विथ गॉड प्रसन्नात्मा मीन्स ही इज ऑलवेज हैप्पी ही और सी समा सर्वेशु भूतेशु मद भक्तिम लभते परा He does not hanker or lament. Hankering is the first symptom of greed. Basically, greed is what you are hankering. I want this. I want this. I want this. Yes, there are so many divorces. People tell me that, oh, my wife is not that beautiful anymore now. Yes, so I am divorcing her. I am going behind a young girl. Yes, who is looking very beautiful. And then what happens? Oh my God, her beauty also fades off. And then you yourself fade off one day. <laughs> so. because of that i know there are so many women who feel the need to maintain their beauty even in their 30s 40s 50s 60s now i'm not saying it is bad to maintain your beauty but i am saying how much ever you maintain you will not probably or mostly look as beautiful as you were in the youth that is somehow not possible because the body dwindles yes but because the media has portrayed it all this the beauty and all this physical the obsession with physical stuff yes that is why the women are having that complex inside them oh my god i have become 35 i have lost that beauty i have to maintain myself otherwise my husband will leave me probably <laughs> so that happens when the man is degraded he behaves like a low level down to den shudra who always runs behind the physical pleasures all right but if the man is spiritually elevated he will not do that yes because he knows marriage is a commitment so similarly you can drag it to everything this greed greed for women greed for money greed for anything so the solution is brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kanksh that means the great soul does not hanker or does not lament he does not keep crying oh my god i lost this i lost that or he doesn't um he doesn't lament there and he doesn't hanker i want this i want that that doesn't mean we don't have any desires it simply means that we channelize our desires properly in the direction of spirituality and then whatever we need to sustain in this world we do that and we eat and we also breathe even if we are in delhi which is a very polluted city or even if we are in any other part of this world yes we do whatever is required for our body and then the remaining we give in charity which we don't need we help the poor we spread the divine knowledge of god consciousness which lord krishna had priest in the bhagavad gita 5000 years back and by that when we elevate people spiritually then we will see that the people are becoming more and more satisfied within themselves so then even if they don't have these uh, luxuries which they think they should have all right then they will become much satisfied inside and then they will realize that we don't need all these things which the modern materialistic civilization has portrayed that we need this we need that how can you go on a maruti you need a mercedes benz right i mean what's the logic it's just a car okay if you have money you take a benz but if day and night you are working 20 hours throwing your family apart for that car then it's not going to be result yes because the moment you have mercedes then you will say i need a rolls royce yes and then you have to work maybe 22 hours <laughs> so the problem is not that there are no resources the problem is the resources are getting misused and for this we have to take care that the leaders who we appoint yes they have to be uh, spiritually elevated because if the leaders are not spiritually cultivated may not be elevated but at least they should be practicing some spiritual path then what happens is they are having this problem of greed inside themselves because they are not happy if the leader is having the problem of greed how in the universe will greed go away from the universe and from the public right because in sanskrit they say na yatha raja tatha praja yes that uh, and even krishna also says in the gita that uh, whatever great personalities do the common man follows so if people are seeing these politicians they are only victims of greed then who will give them the inspiration by seeing any political leader that oh this person is free from greed now i'm not talking of any party here or any prime minister or any president all right so don't think that i am a, a victim of any political party's agenda or i am a supporter I, i have nothing to do with politics okay 
so that's a warning i'm giving here all right so basically what we wanted to stress today is that greed is the main problem yes because of which pollution is happening and factories are throwing out wastes in the rivers like ganga yamuna and so many other places in this world and then because of that there is so many destructive activities which are happening in the ecosystem and then people's lives are getting ruined there are the aquatic lifestyle has been destroyed yes the fishes are dying and even if they are alive they are in such miserable conditions yes there are oil leaks in the oceans and it's a terrible situation so the solution for long term for long term the solution is that you that we give spiritual knowledge and we elevate their consciousness by that they will become satisfied they will become like brahma bhuta which means they are in the consciousness of spirit and then they will not have all these problems yes at least th- that will reduce we may not be able to nullify it completely but at least that will reduce all right so do you want to speak anything else yeah, yeah actually i wanted to say one thing <coughs> uh recently i uh, heard one story and uh, it was uh, about a swami and uh, a lady uh, who is uh, an environment inge- uh, minister in uh, the government of india and uh, she happened to see uh, that swami and she was uh, actually very angry and uh, she had a lot of complaint with the uh, with the swami and she called him and uh, yeah she called him and uh, she told that you swamis and you know saints and all what are you doing for the environment i mean we are trying to put so much of money and forces and everything social workers and everything they are trying their best to solve this issue what are you uh, doing in this society what is your contribution in this society but that swami gave a very intelligent answer he told that uh i respect what you are saying and i understand what you are saying but you are missing a very strong point uh, a very important point in this issue the thing is that you are trying to uh suppose you are having a skin disease and so uh it gets uh, suppose you try to heal it with the with an ointment balm balm or an ointment whatever and it gets vanished after say one week but it reappears what would you do what you do will you will go to a doctor right yeah. and uh, then he will suggest that you better do a blood checkup something must be wrong in your blood otherwise this wound is not going to reappear therefore it means what the problem is internal it is more subtle than it we think we are thinking that the problem is more gross than subtle and therefore we need to solve that issue first of course we need to solve the gross issue also but we also need to solve the subtle issue because of which the gross issue is happening and that's what we are doing we are trying to clean the inside of everyone otherwise if the inside is not clean that issue is again go it will go on happening again and again it's not get, going to get vanished and therefore then she calm down and yeah then she told that yeah yes you are right <laughs> so it's better we uh work together and then we solve this issue so yeah i missed that point at the beginning but yeah this this is very important yeah thank you there you go as my <coughs> one of my gurus once said that science can make things better but spirituality can make people better yeah, <laughs> that's, that's really cool. this does not mean science is bad or it is not good all right so nobody should think that i am blaspheming science here this microphone this laptop is all because of science all thanks to science okay <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean it can make people better science cannot make people better because it deals with the mundane realm which 
is devoid of the concept of spirit okay for that only spirituality has to be used so let's make the use of science to improve this world externally the material objects and then let us use spirituality to improve ourselves inside of the person because if we improve ourselves that's it all problems are solved all right so thank you very much for speaking on pollution thank you very much for having me on this show yeah so the next time he comes to gottingen again or i go to magdeburg or maybe in some other place we will have another joint session all right so therefore thank you very much again wish you a very very happy new year once again and happy if you year. are if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and then i will also post the link to his youtube channel he also has a youtube channel the name of the channel is uh, the human manual right yeah. so i will pin the channel the link in the comments so he uploads videos on the bhagavad gita every 3 days i guess and then you can also subscribe to it my humble request because <laughs> he has just started and he slowly slowly gaining subscribers so when he gets more subscribers he will also feel more encouraged and then more people will see him and as lord krishna says in the gita that my devotee will be always famous <laughs> <laughs> so whoever is preaching this knowledge is most dear to him lord krishna says that in the gita yes i will come reach to that verse maybe after 6 months or one year because i am also doing the gita point wise all right so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then subscribe to it and if you want a personal consultation from me then approach me in my website very granisons below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with those who want to know how to get rid of pollution greed and inner dirt and always remember science can make things better but spirituality can make people, people better. better all right that is it from my side and i would end this by saying god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even in the pollution of city <laughs> like delhi all right there you go great to see you bye next bye. time again bye bye